So <laughs> as if I couldn't love and relate to Bert Kreischer enough, I think the only thing that we really have uh, that is a big difference is how much you like to drink. Oh, yeah, I you, think, don't, you don't drink? No, I mean, I will barely. socially, but like, I don't, I don't live for it the way that you do. I lo- you know, I, I just, I just, like, what spent- percentage of your body think is just alcohol? <laughs> yeah. I, I, you know, so funny, I didn't drink all month, technically. Yeah. I mean, technically, I drank like it's, eight times. I know, but it's <laughs> yeah. the beginning of September. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, no, I, I drank la- last month. Last oh, month, last month. Yeah, month. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, it's September 9th. Yeah. Yeah. You drank eight times, <laughs> and you consider that not a lot? Well, I'm not drinking for the rest of the month. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, but I, d- I didn't drink in August. I, yeah. I worked out really hard and didn't drink. <laughs> and there's a part of me that I don't understand people who don't drink at all. I don't get it. Because yeah. I go, what, what's your treat at the end of the night? Totally. Like, mm. When you want to turn it up a little bit, what do you just go, well, I'll have another piece of cake? Like, right. I just don't get maybe. it. Maybe. I, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah, maybe. Why are you taking down maybe. cake? I love, I love, I love. There's nothing better than like a two beer buzz in the middle of the afternoon. Oh, hell yeah. And no one knows you got it. Yeah. And you just... well, dude, there's nothing Rap. worse than a nightclub without a drink. It's the most boring or place. any social situation. Uh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, um, or or going like watching Crazy Rich Asians. So yeah. yeah. who does that? Are you a guy like I saw I think it was a Coors commercial over the weekend where it's like uh the preferred shower beer. Are you a shower <laughs> beer guy? I'm not no, I've, I've grown out of that, but yeah. I was, I, there was a period where I was a shower and a cigarette beer. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. I was a shower, cigarette, and a beer guy. How is that yeah. physically Are possible? you kidding me? Yeah. Wow. Oh. You hang your head out and pull. Yeah, first day. Yeah. Oh, you that just first beer. I, I used to have a joke about it. I'll see if I can remember it. That first first beer, it was on when you go on a date. You'd take a girl out and you'd have a first beer in your shower. You'd take, bring it in the shower. And when you opened it, you could hear it whisper to you, dreams, just psst. Best night ever. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, really? He's like, yeah. And then the drunker you got, the, the more the the whispers of psst turned into psst, this is this night's over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was an early joke, guys. So, so. beyond <laughs> the drinking thing, I mean, okay, so we're both fat. We we bonded over like the struggles of being fat. And then also, you're a hypochondriac. Hardcore. Now I've been accused of being a hypochondriac. Ooh. Now I think that I think where yeah. I am misunderstood. Is that ever since my mom had gotten sick, when there's something that comes up, I I just go to the doctor yeah. and I get it checked out. However, there's no misunderstanding there. However, mm. I had something going on. Was it last week? Mm-hmm. Yeah, where like uh, I would I would take a sip of soda or something, whatever. Doesn't matter what it was, carbonated or not carbonated, and it felt like a rock going down my throat. It ended up with me googling esophageal cancer, <laughs> and I was going down that whole path. <laughs> and so like you talking about. <laughs> Bert, it's like I, you had something I, I can, on your. I can up. I can. T- yeah, I take it to the eye. next level. I always think it's cancer. I don't know it's why. Like, like cancer is my go. Right. No, I don't he want wants, it. like the answer be like yes. No, I think I'm so afraid of it, bro. I n- I'll take this to a place that's gonna make everyone uncomfortable. Okay. <laughs> I convinced myself, probably 20 years ago, that I had genital warts. <laughs> convinced, mm-hmm. convinced myself yeah. because I was working at Barnes and Noble with a gay guy. I never met a gay guy before. This is before, <laughs> and he had just come out of the closet. <laughs> just come out of the closet. Okay. I mean, he yeah. was having sex every single night, and he came to work one day, and he's like, "I think I, we used to go down to the basement and get high." And he yeah. was like, "I think I got something," and I was like, "What do you mean?" He goes, "I don't know. Will you take a look at my junk? I think it's a spider bite." And I was like, do "You think you got bit on the junk by a spider?" And he was like, "I don't know. Will you look at it?" So I looked at it. And then this is before the internet was the way it was. We didn't have phones like that. Yeah. So yeah. you had to go up and pull out the medical journal and we start yeah. flipping through, right? So then, hypochondriac, I start looking at the medical journal. I start going, God, I think I got something. So I go into the bathroom. I start checking myself out, right? Yeah. And I convince myself I get genital warts. I spent the next week, every night, soaking my package in a bowl of white vinegar (laughs) watching quantum leap drinking a 40 and smoking a joint every night just trying to quiet the voices in my head i was spraying tough actin 10 actin on it by day i was soaking it in white vinegar at night i was checking it maybe two to three hundred times a day it took Two doctor visits to yeah. convince me nothing was wrong with me. 
Two doctor visits, and even still, when I met my wife, I told her I probably have genital warts. Yeah. Oh my she God. was like, "I'm looking at you. I don't see anything." I go, "Meh." Agree to disagree. <laughs> Dude, I have got. I have spiraled. I, t- I've, I thought I had testicular cancer before we were going to we were going to Hawaii yeah. one time, and yeah. I convinced myself I had to disagree. I thought cancer. I had that too. Oh, of course, I thought I had it like four times. Yeah. <laughs> I have convinced. I, I almost think that when I do get cancer, I'll be like, "Finally, <laughs> yeah, I've been yeah. waiting for this." Oh, yeah. I, 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 no, it ought to be. It'll be I told you. Woody. I told yeah. you so. Yeah. Yeah. I go, I go to my cardiologist every nine months, and uh, and. But have you ever had like a legitimate health or a heart problem? No. So you just go to a cardiologist, like just people go to the funsies. dentist. Yeah. I go. Oh, I, every nine months. <laughs> oh every nine God. months, I see this guy. Oh, yeah. And and I just went. This this is why I, I slowed down my drinking. He was like, "You're too. You're overweight." He was like, "You're legit." You, I was 258 pounds. Yeah. He was like, "You do not need to be 258 pounds. You're getting a fatty liver." And I was like, dude, am I drinking? And he was like, no, f- you're fat. And he was like, yeah. you got to lose weight. So I, qu- I quit drinking because I can't lose weight drinking. I, it just is impossible. Yeah. So I stopped drinking for like, you know, the weekdays. And I went to hot spin every day. I dropped like 15 pounds. Wow. Yeah. And now I'm back on. I'm going so on the road. I'm ready to party. So what's wrong with that? <laughs> Good. Uh, I don't know. We all got it. Yeah. I, technically, whatever. Yeah. yeah. I think it at leads to cirrhosis. But I think if you, I don't know. I've got to have a fatty liver, right? Uh, Probably. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but yeah, but yeah, you know, it's like what... What are you gonna do? It's like sometimes I look at my teeth and I go, "Am I gonna get that fixed, or will I just die before I have to worry about it?" <laughs> 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 like yeah. Oh my god, dude! I my I can take hypochondriac. Here's the thing, and I say this to every hypochondriac out there: people make fun of us. Yeah, you don't. They don't know how real we make it in our heads. Like it is the end of the world. Like it's true. I dude, I get I have panic attacks thinking about death. Like I I had one this morning. Mm-hmm. I just woke up and I thought to myself. One day they're just gonna put me in a box. I know. <laughs> you sound like Greg Gore. <laughs> and, yeah. and it's gonna be Every forever. Day. I'm thinking about it right forever. now. Forever, yeah. not just a month, which would give me a panic attack. Yeah, forever. My okay, thought, you're, you, but you're you're approaching that as if you would be aware of that. She, I don't know what happens. Yeah, you don't yeah. know. That was my thought last night. Like, yeah. should I buy a grave plot now so oh I, I can God. God. Oh, this is like Greg. bad talk. This, this is bad talk. And I'm wondering if you if you've reached this way of God. thinking too. I just had a bunch of plumbing work done at my house, and mm-hmm. I said, "Does this have a warranty?" And they said, "This is the new and improved PVC. It's called ABS. Oh, has a life go. lifetime warranty." And I said, my, "The way that I base a warranty on if it's good or not." Will it outlive me? So if they're like, hey, it's got a 20 year warranty, I think, 20, uh, okay, that'll probably outlive me. So wait, so wait, you think, you <laughs> think, God, God, hold on one second. This is the most brilliant thing I've ever heard. Okay. You think they say lifetime warranty based on where they assess your health is? <laughs> yeah. They go, oh, there's a lifetime warranty for warranty for Woody, but yeah, you're, yeah. you're not going to outlive it. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. I know.